wanted to be feel like I was out in the open, like I was part of nature. In a 120 square foot space. I love having all the flowers outside. Um, those make me happy. I knew it had to be big enough that it would hold a desk. I also wanted a spot where I could maybe take a nap. Fit for a summer or winter. I wish um, I had a bathroom sometimes out there. Barbara Teckel embraces serenity. Each day begins with lighting a candle to do yoga. Just coming to this space and just thinking about what my next hopes and, and dreams are. Hopes and dreams that come to life here, inside a building attached to the end of her deck. People just walk away so inspired, and of course, I want one, I want one. It's called a she shed, a growing phenomenon for women to have a space of their own to relax. Ideas on social site Pinterest shows they come in any shape and any size. I am in here eight to 10 hours a day. There's not a day that I'm really, I'm, that I'm not in here. Barbara's had hers for about six years now and has a different name for it. It's really my Zen writing cottage is what I call it. Feeling a void in her life, Barbara decided to become an author. Her passion for animals fueled her to write about their bond to humans, but she was often interrupted by her contractor husband, who was working from their Elkhart Lake home too. At first he said I could write in the basement, which I didn't think was a very good place to write. <laughs> so they decided to build on instead. Barbara sold her car to buy the materials, and her husband spent four weeks enduring in a labor of love that ultimately honored his wife's needs. I knew he understood when we were done building it. He said, you should call it myspace.com and myspace.calm. And I knew that he got it, that he understood, you know, how important this was to me. Now she can pause, listen, and capture inspiration for her latest children's book. It's clear, looking inside the cottage, she loves wiener dogs. They have the greatest character. They're funny, they're loyal, they love to be on your lap, they'll go anywhere with you. Frankie is the subject of her two children's books and a memoir. A disc disease paralyzed the dachshund, forcing it into a wheelchair. But Barbara used the misfortune for good. And I took her to schools all over Wisconsin. She was a therapy dog. Um, it was the best, best five years of my life. Years proudly on display inside this peaceful escape. I have a photo of Frankie and I on the end of a dock. It's on the end of the dock of my friend's house. People love that photo. It, you can just see the love between her and I. Love Barbara used as the cover of her memoir. She reads words of wisdom we can all learn from Frankie. She is my daily reminder to continue to think positive and look for the blessings in every challenge, no matter how difficult that challenge is. After stepping out on faith, Barbara encourages other women to do the same. Follow your heart, listen to that, because it's always right. It never steers you wrong, never. Fulfilling one's desires in a she shed may not be an option for everyone. We are so busy taking care of everybody else that sometimes we, we don't even think that we deserve, you know, time for ourselves or a space for ourselves. But Barbara says women still have a right to feel empowered. Maybe there's a different room in their home, you know, even as simple as a little shelf. And you put things on that that remind you about centering yourself or remind you to, you know, things that bring you joy or make you happy. 